Okay, so welcome back to the final part of the experiment number seven, that is creating virtual lands. Uh, but before going further, let's write the IP addresses to avoid any confusion. 192.168.2.100. Just cross check once if you are not sure. You can simply go to the command prompt desktop menu IP configuration 2.1. 2.100. Okay, so simply uh, give some labels so that you don't get confused because we are almost at the end of the experiment. 101. Same way over here 192.168.1.101. Just cross check. One dot one zero zero. Okay, my bad. So it is one dot one zero zero. Okay. So what we need to do next is we need to create two virtual lands. Now, what is a virtual land? Uh, in the previous ex uh, previous part, we saw what is an access control list. Basically, access control lists are used when we can't differentiate between the various machines present inside a network physically because there was only one router and that was being connected to various machines through a switch so we were not in a position to separate those machines because they were already present inside a network so what we need, we can do is we can create a virtual LAN setup now virtual LAN is nothing but it will not be the actual physical LAN but it will behave like a physical LAN if we do some kind of configurations to it so for example, to carry out with this experiment, we can assume that we are having two or uh, three uh, virtual LAN setups. First is this virtual LAN VLAN 10, for example. Second virtual LAN VLAN 20. And the third virtual LAN we need to draw. So for that, simply draw two more end devices or two more machines over here. This will become my virtual LAN. 30 any name you can give i have mentioned these names you can even write virtual lan 1 2 and 3 okay so simply connect these two machines with the switch over there and we are going to name this as virtual lan 30 so what do we do next we have now over we have now broadly classified the entire structure into three virtual lans but these are not yet connected so we need to give them their ip addresses so for that purpose simply check which was the last ip address and give plus one to it 192.168.2.102 and this one will be 192.168.2.102 I guess I have uh, not written the default gateway so simply copy it from here and add it to the default gateways of these machines okay okay so now we have set up our virtual lands over here what is the next step assume that virtual land 20 is nothing but your sales department and virtual land 30 is nothing but your purchase department so what we want to do is we don't want any kind of communication between the sales and purchase department or for simplicity we can say uh, uh, guest login and student login so we don't want any kind of communication between a guest login and a student login so to avoid such a communication we require virtual land setup how is it done let's see the very first thing which we want to do is and which you should be aware of that when when we were constructing the access control lists we were doing all the coding in the routers but in case of a virtual lan we uh, the lan is not present physically obviously so we need to do all the coding in the switch and not on the routers because the communication is going to happen through the router only but when it comes to the switch it will further 
segregate the traffic depending upon the virtual LAN it will encounter. Okay, so we are going to do all the coding on the switches and not on the routers. So click on the switch, go to the command line interface. The process is same. Enable then config T. Now the next step is you need to give the names of the virtual LANs to this particular switch. So the very first thing is give a name to it. Virtual LAN, for example, we are not bothered upon this virtual LAN 10 because it is not part of this switch. So we are bothered about only virtual LAN 20 and 30. So in my case, it will be virtual LAN 20. Press enter. Let me do the changes over here. Okay. Virtual LAN 20 followed by name for that virtual LAN. You can give any name, for example, purchase and then exit so right now i'm just naming the virtual land similarly i have one more virtual land left so it will be virtual land 30 give a name as sales and then exit so right now i have simply given some names to the virtual land now quickly go back to the uh, network diagram okay so now we need to look at the various interfaces connected to the switch so now we are aware that the switch has got four interfaces connected to the four machines or four computers. So let's see what are the interfaces. If I see it is FA0 slash 2 and FA0 slash 3. So FA0 slash 2 and FA0 slash 3 corresponds to the virtual LAN 20. So I need to give some code to it. For example, let me see the code. It is nothing but you have to select the interface. In my case, it will be FA 0 slash 2 and 3. So we need to do the changes over here as per the code. Okay. So it will be FA 0 slash 2 and FA 0 slash 3. So FA 0 slash 2 is selected right now. We need to mention the switch port access, means what? Uh, the switch has mul got multiple ports and we are mentioning that the port which is corresponding to this particular interface will belong to the virtual LAN 20. Clear? So that's we need to mention over here. Which means that this particular interface will belong to the virtual LAN 20. Press exit. Same way we need to do the coding for interface FA03, FA04 and FA05. So let's do the coding. It will be FA 0 slash 3. Now we know that FA 0 slash 2 and FA 0 slash 3 belong to switch port access virtual LAN 20. On the other hand, FA 04 and FA 05 are the recently connect, uh, completed interfaces that will belong to the virtual LAN 30. Okay, so next thing we need to do is FA0 slash 4. Now we know that this particular interface will belong to the virtual LAN 30. So enter it. Don't forget to exit. And then again select the interface left, which is FA05. Switch port virtual LAN 30 and exit. So now we have configured our switch to carry out a virtual line virtual lan environment so let's take a pause over here it will take some 30 seconds or so so let's see how it actually goes because you can see it is slowly slowly turning up to the color green once it's all green we'll come to know that the switch has been configured and our main objective is we want uh, our main objective is that we don't want virtual LAN 20 and virtual LAN 30 to be communicating among each other. So what we can do is we can simply create a particular virtual LAN environment over here. Let me select a different color. So basically these two are the networks which is virtual LAN 20 and virtual LAN 30 
they are connected physically as a single network but virtually we are segregating it segregating them into two different virtual LAN environments so now the communication has been set up so let's see if this network is able to communicate with this or not first let me check whether the inter virtual LAN uh, intra virtual LAN communication is possible or not that means PC1 and PC2 should be able to communicate with each other because they are directly connected with a switch so it's successful no issues with that same way PC3 and PC4 they are successfully communicating with each other no doubt with that also and finally PC1 and PC3 it is coming as field that is what we wanted so let's try with the other PCs PC4 and PC2 again field two more combinations PC2 and PC3 failed last PC1 and PC4 that's also a failed so this is actually what we wanted to show because what exactly is happening we are not having two physical uh, networks we are having a single network only with four machines but we are segregating those networks into a virtual LAN environment so that uh, so that they are in a position to communicate among the PCs present inside a virtual LAN but they can't communicate with the PCs present in some other virtual LAN so in simple terms a sales department can't interact with a purchase department the sales department machine can only interact with all the machines present inside the sales department only and similar thing goes with the purchase department so that is how a virtual LAN environment is created it's very simple and really very interesting when it comes to actually implementing it in real life scenarios so that's all in this particular experiment on rip access control list and virtual lands i hope you got the understanding of how we create machines uh, interacting with each other using rip then access control lists being applied to stop or prevent any particular machine to access any other machine in the network similarly we came to know uh, just now that how we can create virtual lands so that we can create virtual environments uh, with the help of switch ports we also came to know how the machines present inside a virtual LAN can communicate among each other and not with the other machines present in some other virtual lands so that's it in this particular series on uh, virtual lands ACLs and RIP there's one more video lecture left on virtual private networks VPN that will be the last video of this particular series on advanced system security and digital forensics so if you have not yet subscribed to my channel I would urge you to kindly subscribe to it so as to remain in touch with all the interesting uh, sessions interesting virtual lectures and tutorials on upcoming trends and upcoming topics in the field of uh, computer security in uh, databases machine learning progressive web apps etc thanks for watching thanks for your patience